Welcome back, YouTube. This is The Last Dead Eye with another episode of Return of the Dead Eye. This is an episode with some PvP, and we get lots of XP from that PvP. Look at those numbers 595 XP in 9 minutes 7 seconds. Sure, there are other things you can do to earn XP faster, but can you make $47 while doing it? I think not. Well, maybe. If so, leave a comment. I'd love to hear about it because that would be news to me. So, as you can see, we're heading up here north of Saint-Denis, and we got some other players about. I just bumped that guy with my horse, so if he's red, he's dead, right? That's just how we roll. Drop him real quick. And, you know, I notice there's another hunter up here. See, there's no birds in the area, which is a big problem because we're hunting. And if there's no birds, what's the point of being here? So, actually, right there, I didn't mean to drink that out here. I meant to eat some food. So I'm going to eat some food, as I originally intended to do. And I'm going to come out here. I'm like, dang, there are no birds, but there are people. So, like, I'm here to hunt. I'm here to kill. And if there are no birds to kill, well, you know, you got to make do with what's there. And it just so happens these poor folks were what's there. So, you know, I'm just going to clear them out. And I'm going to see if I can get some birds to spawn after they move along. Because, you know, honestly, like, just, like, this is... This is my area I want to hunt. And the way I see it, they're just poachers on my land, right? I mean... That's, that's one way of looking at it. That's the way I want to look at it anyways. Because, you know, it just justifies me mowing these guys down a couple times. But anyways, I'm, I'm not going to, you know, chase after any of them. If they want to come back for more, I'm here. I'll give it to them. But uh, I'm not going to agree to chase after them. You know, it's, it's, it's already bad enough for me to kill them. I realize there's not much honor in me shooting these guys down with explosive ammo. But, at the same time, like I said, I'm here to hunt, and they're in my way. So, in a PvP situation, when you're in the way of my loot, you know, something's going to happen. And chances are, if I can make it happen in my favor, I'm going I'm to do that. So, we clear these fools out, and then we turn and we look at the beautiful view out here. Just, just gorgeous. Just gorgeous view. Well, not really. But anyways, we look back. Look at that. The birds have spawned now. We got rid of the other hunters. We gave it a minute. We weren't watching the area where the birds are. We looked at the scenery out over the ocean. And while doing so, we've got a respawn of birds. How about that? That is incredible, isn't it? I mean, like, most of the time you come out here, you see other players, you think, man, I got a free roam. Because these guys, there's just not any chance of me getting anything. They've already scared everything away. But apparently, you could just kill them. And the area will respawn for you. Uh, I just demonstrated that. And it kind of blew my mind. Because I wasn't really expecting it to work this way. I really didn't even expect to get a video out of this hunt. Because once I saw those guys. I just kind of was aggravated. And was venting some anger. Like you're in my spot. You gotta, you know. You gotta vent some anger every once in a while. I am a Sith Master, right? So. I did that. And then I find this. And, you know, here we go. So. How about that, right? What do you think? Is this, is this, you know, reprehensible? Is this the detestable behavior in Red Dead? I personally don't really think it's all that bad. I'm not chasing after everybody, and I'm doing it for a purpose. I'm not just killing somebody to kill them. I actually have good reason to do so. So leave a comment down below. I'd like to know your opinion on, on killing people in, in your hunting spot. Uh, also, if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Every time I go come to the channel and I see a new subscriber, it really brightens my day, man. That That's just that's a good feeling. And you know, then you won't miss any future videos either because you want to keep updated on any new hunting tactics that I might have. Also, you know, if you're inclined to do so, hit that like and share button. Your friends might want to see this. I know if I didn't know about this and I played Red Dead, I would want to see this. So make sure you share this with others. Uh, enjoy your hunt. 
I hope this video helps you and you find it educational. Like you can see here, we have a hunter that has come back for more. Now I roll with Slippery Bastard, okay? So I just turn my dead eye on and I just, you know, bob and weave, bob and weave, it's like the Matrix. And I just turn it off and then I can auto aim and pop him one time. It's just, it's a, it's a lot of fun. That Slippery Bastard is a lot of fun. You, if you haven't tried it yet, definitely give it a whirl because there's just nothing like being unlockable. It's, it's, it's great. I don't, the only other card I really use is Paint It Black for my Deadeye. And that's primarily when I'm in like a sniper fight and I want to mark somebody from really, really far away with my bolt action. Or if I want to run around with dynamite arrows, because paint it black and dynamite arrows is a lot of fun too. But it's, it's I mean, the whole slow and steady thing, that's just not for me. I, I, I find if I use slow and steady that I feel like I'm a tank and I start putting myself out there to take damage as if I can just, you know, take damage all day long. And then I ended up getting mowed down. Slippery Bastard I find to be much more lined up with my playstyle, so that's what I use. And Sometimes you'll see me running through town here, and I'll see another player, and I'll just turn Slippery Bastard on, just to prevent them from getting a hit on me as I'm running into the Butcher. You know, it's, it's great for offense as well as defense. It's just, it's a spectacular card. So enough about that. On my way in, I hear the pelican. I hear him squawk, and I look around, and I don't see him. I move around a little bit, look some more, and there they are. Seven pelicans. And I can only actually skin three here, but still, that's some icing on the cake. Because without these pelicans, I'd have been looking at about $15 less on this run. That would have been about $200 an hour instead of $300 an hour. And it would have been a little bit of a struggle to put this video up. So, you know, keep in mind that up until the point where these pelicans by chance flew by, this wasn't looking to be a very profitable run financially. But XP, pretty spectacular. You know, that's a pretty good XP rate while you're pulling money in. Anyhow, I gotta go. So, enjoy the rest of the video. Thanks for coming in. Have a wonderful day and take care. Nice little hunt there.